today's lesson is going to be a guitar lele for ukulele players. And I'm going to show you three chords that most ukulele players should know. And I'm going to show you how to transpose them or move them to the guitar lele. Okay, it's going to sound like this. So really the biggest difference between the ukulele and a guitar lele is the two extra strings or the two low strings. And so the three chords for today are going to be the C, F, and the G. And those are some of the first three chords that you learn when you start off on ukulele. But now I'm going to show you how to take them to the guitar lele. So the first chord here is C. Now. Let's go to the ukulele chord. So the ukulele chord, this is probably the first chord that we learn. It's just a one finger C, right? With our third finger here on the first string, third fret. And then you're just gonna strum strings one, two, three, and four. So now though, this C chord is gonna add the lower strings or the two new strings here. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our first finger and we're gonna put it on the fifth string, second fret. It's kind of funny to say that on the ukulele fifth string. And then, our middle finger here is going to be on the 6th string, 3rd fret. And all the while you're going to have still open 4th string, open 3rd, and open 2nd. But this time you're going to strum all 6 of the strings. And so now if you're a guitar player, this is what we know as a G chord. But on ukulele, this is now a C chord. Alright, so the next chord we're going to go over is the F chord. So on the ukulele, the F chord looks like this. Now this one's not too bad. All you're gonna do is add one additional finger. So you're gonna add, well, the F chord here is just open first string and then my first finger's on the second string first fret. Open third string and then now my second finger here is gonna be on the fourth string second fret. And I'm gonna add my third finger to the fifth string third fret. That's the only new note here from the ukulele to the guitar lay, right? And then we're not gonna play the sixth string at all. So now here's your F chord. Now as a guitar player, we know this chord as C, but on the guitar lately, this is now an F chord. All right, so we got C and F. Now the last chord, and this is an easy one, this is the G chord. And the nice thing about this is it doesn't change at all from the ukulele to the guitar lay. So it's just this same chord that we play on ukulele, open fourth string, first finger on the third string, second fret third finger on the second string, third fret, and then my second finger on the first string, second fret. And you're only gonna strum strings one, two, three, and four. So this one, you're just gonna avoid strings five and six, the new strings for this one. All right, so that's it. So we got C to the F. Now the progression will go back to C, and then it go to G. All right, so pretty cool, not that difficult. Probably the C chord is the hardest one to make the, the switch to the guitar lay. All right, so now let's talk about the actual strum pattern. So the strum pattern is gonna sound like this. That's one measure, so it's just gonna go down, 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 down. Or if you're counting, it would be one, two, we and the three, four, we and the. All right, so let's just do that. Let's loop the C chord a bit. Three, four, and a. So once you got the chords down, you got the strum pattern down, we got this. So all it's going to do is one measure of C, one measure of F, back to C, and G. Now repeat, back to C. Alright, so there you go. Those are your first three chords when you're making a transition from the ukulele to the guitar lele. It's actually not that bad, so get these down. I'm just going to jam us out here on that same progression. I'm just going to loosen up the rhythm a little bit.
that's going to do it for this one, and we'll see you next time.